What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So I finally completed the full 50 out of 50 Backyard Ballers Steam Team. It's actually 51 out of 50 I'll show you right now. There's also an additional player but he don't actually, he's not actually able to get Backyard Baller Kim based on the fact that there's three positions of him. Not of him but of that position so therefore there's no secondary position. So I have him in the lineup but we have 51 out of 50 and he doesn't get it. But I'll show you guys all that right now. You see right here we're 96 overall, 96 offense, 95 defense. This team is insane. The stats are insane. And I really want to do this because this is a big reason I like playing Madden. For you know a, pr a promo like this it never ever actually happened. I was one of the ones that wanted to that advocated for the yard. We finally get the yard. I really don't play it like that. Um, I thought it would be a lot more funner. I'm really more in the ultimate team. So when they actually, in a sense, brought the yard to ultimate team, which is this is kind of like the equivalent of it. I knew I had to go this route. And not just that, it's actually affordable. I know some of you guys can't go and acquire about 2 million coins. It's going to cost about that to complete it. I'll say about 2.5 million. I didn't have to spend that much based on the fact I did re-rolls and other things in order to help, out, help me get this team up to where I needed to get it. However, if you have to buy it from scratch, I'll say 2.5 million. It's a lot, um, but not as a lot as a lot of other theme teams. Not just that. These are just like the only upgrades they're going to have. So whatever you got right here, this is what you're going to have. So I'm not saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it for the whole time. You never know. But I will keep it for a while, and I'm going to do a lot of gameplay with it. And, when, and if I'm finally done with that, go ahead and get rid of it. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys some of these stats, right? The only thing I haven't did yet was activated any uh, abilities. I got to go through and uh, see what I'm going to activate. But I'm going to do a lot of gameplay, and I'm going to activate activate abilities as I go on. But let's go ahead and uh, check out this Ricky Williams. He's a 9-9 overall on this squad. Yes, he, he I mean, it says he's a nat, right? But he's a limited edition, so I know what that means. Anyways, so... I can open up his let me let me go ahead and open up his other slots real quick so you guys can see what he gets. I'm not gonna go over every card, it'll, it'll be insane, but I'll, I'll show you guys all the cards on the team and I'll go over certain cards and so forth like that. So these are his X Factor Double Me, Rack Em Up, Max Security, Grab and Smash, Ankle Breaker, Yak Em Up. He comes with Bruiser and Route Technician, both one AP, so they'll be able to you'll be able to activate this whole card for two AP if you don't unless you put other abilities on him um these are also his other abilities that he gets i'll just go through real quick to show you guys um uh, fourth tier same thing he got on the third tier and it's uh so if you want to put team kims you guys can you know like the saints baltimore or dolphins he gets times three dolphins all because i think he has like a team builder or something right so i think that's the reason why he's able to get it yeah i kind of backed up. i got to show you guys his stats I'll go ahead and click back on it all right, here we go. So he's 99 speed, 96 jumping, 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, 98 spectacular, 97 short route, 97 medium route, and 99 deep route. The only thing about this card, he's 5'10", but you know what? Tyreek is pretty small small too. Um, and this guy got 96 jumping, so I think that jumping will make up for it. And his other stats are all insane. So I think this would actually be a decent card. He got 89 carry, which is real good. He got 96 spin, 97 juke, 92 change of direction, 98 trucking. 91 stiff arm yeah this card's insane 92 break tackle all right we're already seeing trayvon Diggs and in in another one you guys are already familiarized with him but he's up to a 99 overall on this squad and he has about 99 speed so he's going down but this jc jackson right here he's actually a 95 overall he went to a 98 overall with all the all the cams and you know uh strategy cards that i have on him but he comes equipped with grab and go and also route tech attributes look at that 99 speed all the all the three top receivers have 99 speed got 99 speed 93 jumping 99 catching 99 catching traffic 98 spectacular 94 short route 91 medium route 93 deep route he's also 510 so trayvon Diggs is not the short one but jc jackson and Ricky Williams is short. You know, Ricky Williams, understandably, because, you know, he's a halfback. But J.C. Jackson, I think he's a cornerback. So, I mean, he's out there playing against receivers anyway. So, I think he'll be pretty good out there as a wide receiver. Um, his stats are all good besides, I mean, besides his his height. I mean, he got 9-9 catchy, 9-3 jumping. I wish his jumping was a little higher. But he also got 8-9 carry, 85 spin, 92 juke. And mind you, because we got 50 out of 50, it's just they're actually utilizing this as a as a theme team mean that you get plus two speed because we got 50 out of 50 if you guys don't know that already so 
that's why they got such such high speed that's why a lot of them go up to 99 speed and stuff like that based on that look at this derwin james though we're gonna look at that pain manning in a second too because that pain man is insane so he comes in quick a backfield mismatch um backfield uh, master and a uh, matchup nightmare um another thing too i'm gonna have this team for a minute if you guys want to know anything about what stats about certain players and so forth or uh you know what anything you want to know about these cars let me know i'll let you guys know because i have them and i'll go ahead and check on because i can't go over every card right now so he got 99 speed 97 acceleration 97 agility 96 carry 82 catch 95 change direction 93 truck 97 brake tackle insane 82 catching is very good for a halfback um 97 jumping um i guess it's good because he could like you know hurdle people 96 carry which is real good 96 spin 98 juke i think i said 93 truck 97 break tackle so it's a pretty decent card we're going to check out peyton manning and after that i want to look at this fullback too because i want to i want you guys to see his stats and then we'll go ahead and go to uh the defense but this peyton manning is insane too he comes already equipped with fearless hot route master and set for elite i think the first game i'm going to activate I'm gonna go ahead and open these right now. I'm gonna activate uh I'll show you guys right here. Here we go. Escape artist. And what I liked about it, because these are already discounted. So if you just if you do do that, you're only gonna be able to use this card, but at least you'll be able to use the card with all those extra abilities that he has on him already, right? So that's why I like liked about it. You still be able to put escape artist and you'll be able to use all these other abilities with it. It's gonna be 14 AP altogether, because this is 10 AP, but it and you can activate all his little X Factor, he has trust and everything. So this is goonished out. So I'm happy with it. So he gets Broncos and also Colt Kim. So like I said, the first game play, most likely I'm going to activate it, see how goonish he goes. And then little by little, we'll go through the, the rest of the team as we do these gameplays. But he got 93 speed, 97 throw power, 96 short accuracy, 96 mid accuracy, 97 deep accuracy, 95 throw, um, but throwing, the, uh, throwing the pressure, 97 throw on the run, 96 play action. It comes in at C6-5. Um, pretty tall, so that's pretty good. 88 jumping, so they gave him some uh, juice of stats. Look, at, he got 87 juke and 81 spin. What is that? 80, oh, 87 break, uh, break sack, so that's actually pretty good. But this fullback right here, um, I'll show you his abilities right quick. He comes with bulldozer and also backlash. And I think, yeah, because he has his brother on the squad. They get three out of, oh, there's three out of three. So three out of three players, which we got. So that's activated. So that boosts up his card also. But look at this as a fullback. And he's only what? What is he right here? A 93 overall. But all the boost stats, he goes up to 94 speed, 91 strength, 88 awareness, 88 carry, 91 catching, uh, 94 run block, 87 lead block. What is that? Lead block? Lead block? And um, 89. I forgot. The, I thought that other one was lead block. But uh, that's what I want to show you guys real quick at the fullback because, yeah, his stats are insane. So let's go over here. Let's. Uh, I want to show you guys this Marshawn. This Marshawn Lynch is crazy for a right end. So he's a, actually a 93 overall, right? And he boosted up to a 96 with blue cams. But he comes equipped with edge threat as well as no ice outsiders with the, both one AP, which is real good. But check out his attributes, though. He's 5'11", which is bad. You know, he's at right end. Usually the right end's a lot taller. But, I mean, if we could rush in and just sack him right away, I mean, we're all right. But, you know, the bat batting on the ball and all that, we'll find out if he could do that in game. But he comes in with 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 strength, 88 tackle, 91 play rec, 94 block shed, 99 power move, 68 finesse move. This card is insane. You, I, as I go down, you go ahead and uh, check it out. And uh, check, let me see his other stats. 88 zone two. Yeah, 88 zone for a right in. 88 press, 90, 96 hit power. Yeah, when I seen that card, I was like, man, that card is crazy. What other card I want to show you guys? This Tyree kill is, is off the chain too. He comes equipped with Acrobat and Lurker. All right, he got 99 speed, 99 acceleration. 75 strength, 77 tackle. He can't really tackle. I can see. I see. I played against him, and, and yeah, I, I, he can't really tackle like that. But he's gonna be more use used for like a going out there and lurking the ball. You know, just as a user. But it's gonna be kind of hard to really tackle with him. 98 play rec, 92 block shit, 76 power move, 98 finesse move. But you know his height. His height has he has a disadvantage, but he also got 99 jumping. And he we all know he could jump pretty high. So that's actually pretty good with 96 catching. So this is this card is a. Pretty, look at 92 catching traffic too. 
Night two break tackle. So this is actually pretty good. A6 press. <laughs> Look at this zone in man. And, that's crazy. 98 zone, 99 man. So let's see. I know some of you guys probably going to want to see this Robert Hunt. You guys probably want to see how maybe juiced up he is. Especially after that play he made when he um, when he tried to make a touchdown. Even though a count, that was, that was crazy. But he got acrobat and tackle supreme. His attributes, he, he, his speed ain't all that, but it's cool though. He come in at 6'5 with 92 speed. Um, but you never know. He might make some plays out there considering how tall he is. 91 acceleration, 85 agility, 99 jumping, 91 play rec, 89 man, 90 zone, 98 press. And if you guys want to see his other stats, I'm not going to read everything, but I'll just go through like this for you guys. But once again, if you guys have any questions about any of these players, let me know. Um, especially if you're considering building one of these teams. So if you guys want to consider that. All right, so... Go ahead and check out this Barry Sanders. This might be another card you guys might want to pick up for the squad. He got double or nothing for two AP, and he also got edge threat equipped already. I like the fact that they discount all of them, so it makes it better for us to equip a lot, a lot more players. But he comes in at 99 speed, 98 acceleration, 80 strength, 80 ta 84 tackle, 98 play rec, 97 block shed, 72 power move, 97 finesse move, which is real good. He, his height is 5'8", five, five but like I said, maybe we could use him more for a rusher. That's what he looks more for. So um, I probably will use him out there. I, I don't care. I can basically use anyone, hopefully, and try to intercept it. Um, sometimes I'm successful. Sometimes I'm not, but we'll see what happens. Um, 80 strength, 98 agility, 92 awareness, 79 catching, 84 jumping. So, yeah, as you could tell, he's more used for, like, a rusher. He got 94 carry. I mean, he, he got 91 spin, 95 juke, 99 break tackle. That's funny. So, that's his card. I guess you could put him out of your tournament. He's a 90 over. Look at this Derek Carr, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys this Derek Carr. His stats are insane, too. But he comes equipped with mid-zone KO and also medium route KO. Both together as a 2 AP. 95 speed, though. 93 acceleration, 82 tackle, 88 play rec, um, 86 man, 95 zone, 89 hit power. For Derek Carr, I don't know why he got such good hit power, but they gave him some good hit power. Coming in at 6'3". All right, 85 awareness, 75 catching, 95 jumping, 91 stamina. So yeah, this card is a uh, pretty juice. 85, 85 press, 83 block shed. Let me see what else we want to go over. I go over special teams right now too. Let you guys know what I put. Let's check out one of these uh, defensive tackles. Derek Wolf, I mean Derek Watt comes equipped with tackle supreme and also no outsiders, which is good. They're both one AP. He got what I like about this is these defensive tackles are they got some good speed. He got 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 91 strength, 93 tackle, 89 play rec, 95 block shit, 83 power move, 89 finesse move. And he comes in at 6'2. These are all also his, uh, all his other stats. 92 hit power. So you guys can see real quick. Jimmy Graham is, is goonish, but let, let's go ahead and go over his Josh Allen. But you guys already know he's tall. He's, he's going to be fast. I'm going to go these other players that you guys want. You guys might want to see um, how juiced they are at these positions that we never usually see. So uh, Josh Allen, left outside linebacker, comes in at under. I mean, he gets uh, ability under pressure and also enforcer. So these are equipped with 1 AP apiece. Knowing that he was a quarterback and they put him at left outside linebacker, that's pretty funny. He got 95 speed though. Look at look at his 6'5 with 95 speed. I'm gonna have to use him. 94 acceleration, 83 strength, 83 tackle, 88 play rec, 97 block shed, 75 power move, 92 finesse move. So yeah. There's all his other stats. Pretty good though, man. This this is uh this is gonna be a good team. I wanna use it for a while. If I decide to keep it, I'll keep it, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But until then, let me know. Like I said, if you guys wanna know anything else more about this squad. Here's Jimmy Graham. Got Acrobat and Pick Artist equipped already with both for both 1 AP. Um, he comes in at 91 overall. He got 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 91 tackle, 94 player rec, 98 man, 97 zone, 96 hit power. Any 6'7, which makes him, you know, a big threat out there. 94 catching and 99 jumping on top of the height, which is insane. So he could be out there doing real good. His spin move is not that, but catching traffic is pretty decent. 87 break tackle. So, them are his stats. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the, the special teams and everything else and all strategy cards I have on, on this squad. We got Randall Cunningham, right? 
and also Vince Wilfork. I don't know if Vince Wilfork is that fast, but Randall Cunningham is actually real fast for a punter. So we could fake, fake punt and all that stuff. And for for those who want to let me go ahead and uh, um, open this slot, I'm going to show you guys right here. Some of you guys are probably going to ask. Yes, a lot of a, a lot of these players, if not all of them, get all the team chems. You can activate them. So they get Cowboys, Baltimore, Minnesota Vikings, and Philadelphia Eagles. So he will be on my Cowboy theme team. But look at this. He got 90 five speed imagine faking it with this dude 93 acceleration 94 kick power 83 kick accuracy 88 winners 93 throw power 83 short accuracy 85 throw on the run i'm reading off the throw power and all other stuff which is good because if you fake and you throw it a lot of punters don't have this this high of throw power or accuracy it's very low like 60 70 so you know he is a quarterback right they didn't really juice up his car when it comes to stats but they juiced it up when it comes to him being a punter so you can actually do a lot with this car a lot with this car so that's one thing i like about um that oop randall cunningham so vince wilfork i didn't i haven't even looked at his stats yet but he comes equipped with bulldozer for one ap so you'll be able to activate that let me go back to randall Cunningham. i didn't even see what randall cunningham has hold on I have, to, I have to show you guys. I almost forgot. So he gets jukebox and also focus kicker. Ooh, he's our punter too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to move these positions around because I, I need him as kicker. We need that focus kicker activated. All right. So let's go back to him. So the only thing it opens up on him is the team cam. So you can put any team cams on him. Patriots or Texans that he come with, but you can't put nothing else when it comes to. You know, like focus kicker and all the other abilities. But oh yeah, so he's actually pretty fast. 85 speed for a kicker. That's yeah, that's real good. 84 acceleration, 93 kick power, 81 kick accuracy, 82 awareness. But throw power is, is horrible. Um, short accuracy, all that's horrible. Let me see what else. Yeah, so if you're gonna fake it, Randall Cunningham probably gonna be the guy for it. C can I switch these guys out though? Let me see. What would Randall have? I'll lose my, I'll lose all the way color though, right? He'll be a 77. And believe me, it does make a difference. So I tried switching them out before and it was horrible. So why would I want to focus kicker while he kicks off? Yeah, it's all right though. We got to do what we got to do. Oh, so for, we got kick return Ricky Williams and we put also Rondé Barber and then we got Dur Derwin James, whoever they want to kick it to. Um, Yeah, so this is what we got here. This is our... This is our special teams, Brandon Marshall. I'm going to actually put Tyreek Hill right here because he's a 99 overall at that position. I'm going to show you guys right now. And because of that jumping all that, I think he'll actually be a good user. Not a good tackler, but I think he'll make a good user. Then I got Barry Sanders as our uh, left in sub two and our right in sub two. And I got Derek Watt as our defensive tackle. And slot cornerback, I got uh, Tiki Barber, which he's one of the... The, the, the limiteds are not that much, but he's one of the most expensive ones. And for strategy cards, I got deep route specialist for the wide receiver. Um, real in, it also gets wide receiver and tight end. And bull rush, which is for your defensive end, defense tackles, and outside linebackers only. And this one here is for your whole defense. And this one is uh, man to man. So th this one is what's making Stefan Diggs a 99 at cornerback. This man to man is real good. And then we got plus one for all the 87 to 95 overall background baller players, which uh, boosts up their stats even more. Um, I, I probably, I'm probably gonna get some different uniforms just because they're not specifically a theme team. I might go and get those Nike ones or something like that because I wish they would have gave us some backer or baller ones that would actually make more sense. But I think that because they, they didn't because they want us to go and purchase those from the store. So most likely I might end up doing that just so I, cause I don't want to have those jerseys. I want to have different jerseys on for the squad um, to make them look more goonish as we're out there grinding. But anyways, this is a team. I wanted to go over the full team real quick so you guys can see a more of a detailed look. Once again, if you guys want to know anything more about the team, let me know, I'll get back to you guys. We will be getting tons of gameplay with these cards because I don't know whenever I'm going to get rid of it, but I want to make sure that I get as much gameplay as we can. So just, if you want a specific gameplay, like with Derwin James, Ricky Willard, like specific players, let me know. I'll go ahead and get out the way because I can't get them all in one gameplay. You'll see them. They're all going to be all out the field, but as we do gameplays, we'll focus more on certain players as we do it. But anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what we've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need subs to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.